All right, welcome to writing class today. We have been working on writing poetry. And today is the day where I will let you pick, first of all, your topic for your poem book. Second, we are going to write our first poem for our poem book. And we're going to write a haiku. Okay, we practiced them yesterday. So today is the day you get to show me what you've worked on, okay? If you decide to use the poem you wrote yesterday, if it fits your topic, you can use it. Or you are all excellent at writing them, you can write a new one. So first thing, let's talk topics. Um, let's just write a list of possible topics you could all choose to write about. All right, remember, your topic needs to be something like uh, friends at home. We just had a small discussion before I started recording. My topic was summer, right? I could write anything I wanted about summer. It all fits under my topic. Um, and I just told the class another topic that some people in the past have chosen would be like sports. Each different poem in your poem book is about a different sport. So I'll go ahead and start with, um, I'll write a season. So you could pick a season. Or you could write about all the seasons. You could write a poem about each one. You could do sports. All right, now I will let you come up with some more ideas. Chloe? Penguin. Okay, so like animals. All right, and I'll say under there, you could choose one animal. If you know a lot about an animal and want to write four or five poems about one animal, which some of you in here are definitely obsessed with one animal, you could do that. So you could choose one, or you could write about different animals. All right. What else could we write about? Noah? Like next world stuff or like machinery. So like futuristic stuff? Is that what you're yes. thinking? Okay. Um. Yeah, you could write about things in the future. That'd be kind of interesting. I've never had someone do that before. Cadence? Uh, no. All right. You could make a poem book all about yourself. Mm. I'll just call that all about me. Okay. Uh, Madeline. You could write something about like what it's like in space. Okay. You could focus on space. I have had students write space poems before. And when you write about space, you could focus on astronauts, planets, moons, stars. There's a lot out there. Okay. So that's a good topic. Eric. Um, I'm doing this for you yesterday. Walt Disney. Okay. You could pick like. All right. So Walt Disney. You want to write all about a famous person. Okay. You could make poems about a person, but I would make sure that you know a lot about them, okay? So if you are very familiar. Okay, because this, I don't want this to turn into a research project. It should be stuff you already know about. Chloe? Life. Life? It could just be about life. So we can even say life as a fourth grader. Okay, voice is off. Shh. Abby. Um, like, Lost it. Hayden? Uh, um, I have three things. Okay, real quick. Uh, like, it goes with famous person to, like, a famous black American. And, okay. Uh, like, dinosaurs are drunk. Okay. So, dinosaurs. Extinct animals. All right, what was the last thing you said? A drive. What do you say? A truck? A dragon. A dragon. Okay, so I will just say like magical Creatures. fantasy. Okay, so that could be something like a dragon. Okay, um, a few other things we talked about before I started writing that I want to add because you know I'm a nature nerd. You can write all your poems about nature in different ways, which would include like mountains, rivers, forest, all that good stuff. I noticed you started writing your haiku about the ocean. So you could write, if you want to talk about the beach, animals that live in the ocean, snorkeling, boat rides, you could definitely write a whole poem book about the ocean. All right, Cadence, another idea. A megalodon. A megalodon. So I'll include that with the animals, right? So you could choose one animal to write up all your poems about. 
Okay, so national parks. You know, Eric and I have been talking about national parks a lot this week. All right, I will take the three hands that are up. That's it. Liam? Okay, so like, just... Like, like, like happy memories with yeah. people? Okay. So we can say good memories. I would love to read a poem book about good memories. So each poem could be about a different memory. That'd be cool. Josiah? Disneyland. All right, well, we'll cover that as like a, a person or a place. Okay? I will add a place. If you know a whole lot about... A special place. You could probably write a poem about that. Or several poems. Remember, you have to write probably three or four poems that are all different about your topic. Noah? Um, like a war or national building, like a Paris building. Okay. Twin Towers. And Chloe, last one. What do you mean by that? Like, for example, a book. Like, like if you had a favorite book, you want to write poems about a book? What did you say? Sure. Well, what were you trying to say? I don't want to put words in your mouth. I was going to say, um, like, you could write about, like, anything that is a thing. You could. Anything that's a thing. As long as you pick something and all of your poems fit under that umbrella of a topic. Okay. Does that make sense when I say umbrella? Yeah. Your topic has a wide amount of space under it, but whatever you write about has to fit under your topic. Cadence. Okay, so I think, Object. hands down, hands, we've put enough on the list. Any questions about how you are going to pick a topic? Quentin? All right, well, we, we can't take any more topics. If you have a different topic, you can ask me. Questions about picking a topic, Caden. How are you supposed to pick out of like 30 of them? All right, so here's how I would pick, okay? For me, I need all my voices off, eyes up here, Madeline. All right, for me, I would go through and think, well, a lot of this stuff I really honestly don't care a lot about to write poems for a few weeks. So I could eliminate, for me, sports off my list. I don't want to write poems about sports, okay? I could probably narrow it down to a few things I really like, and then you're just going to have to kind of pick one, okay? So I wouldn't pick anything too specific. That'll make it harder to write your poems. Zoe? How could we write about all the seasons if there's only three lines? Well, that's just one type of poem. Remember, you are writing a poem book. Two days ago, I went through and showed you my poem book. Remember, I had haikus. I had acrostic. I had a concrete poem. We had syncane poems, all different kinds. Shh. No one has had their hand uh, raised, asked for a question. So this is just one poem, okay? This is just where we're starting today. So if you did seasons, you could write your haiku about spring, and you could write your acrostic poem about fall. Question about picking topics? Okay, Eric? Well, um, I don't know what's a question, but I found one. Ooh, kind of. So, I, yeah, we could fit things in different categories. That's not really the issue right now. I'm just trying to give you ideas. Dylan? When that topic is about reptiles, what, how many syllables are in crocodiles? Um, like, crocodiles. Four. Four. So for now, though, let's stick with what we're talking about. Angie? Um, do, we have to have all, do we have to put all of those in the book? All of what in the book? Uh, we're going to get to all those assignments as we go. For today, we're just thinking about haiku, and we need to pick a topic so that we can start writing all of our poems under one topic. Emma? Uh, are we starting that today? Yes, we are, once I get through all these questions. Okay, so your job next, pick a topic. It is not limited to what's up here. It's just a lot of kids have a hard time picking a topic, so I wanted to give you some good examples. So today, you need to pick one topic. All the rest of the poems we write the next week or two, you're going to write about the same topic. So pick one that you really like. Once you've picked a topic on your haiku paper, I would like you to write one that you really love. Okay? And if you are, like, out of space, how much did you guys fill up on your papers? 
I half. Picked off. half. Okay, so flip to the back side and write your new haiku after you've chosen a topic, okay? We are going to work on these today and tomorrow, all right, because I took up a lot of your time going over directions. So today and tomorrow, you are going to write your haiku that goes with your topic, okay? So I'm going to come around and check for your topic, so I'm going to ask you what you're thinking you're going to do. Friends at home, I need you also today to pick a topic. You are not limited to what's up here. And then I would like you to write a haiku. You'll have a spot in Google Classroom to send it to me, okay? So remember, a haiku poem is five, seven, five syllables, only three lines. All right, I will see you tomorrow. Nope, I will see you on Monday.